All right, I'm on hole number 12 of the Great Outdoors Tournament. This is hole number three. All right, I'm taking my Acura bag. I need to get an Alvi here. I dropped the shot. I dropped, I didn't pick up the Eagle on hole number nine. I had a putt and I missed it. And it wasn't that long of a putt. I just, I got some lag and I missed it. I'm taking the Katana. And while this is not a high percentage Alvi shot, I if you put yourself in the right spot you have a great look at it you're going to give yourself every opportunity if you can execute on the first two shots the first shot to put you in the right spot if you're in the right spot you got a beautiful look at Alvi here it's still kind of a blind look it's not the best look in the world but you do have a serious shot at Alvi And if I seem like I'm excited, this really is this really is my favorite hole in the game. I like every hole in the Glen in the Greenwich Point holes. I like all of those in that course, but this is my favorite of the ones that are in it, and they're all awesome. There's another par five that's in there that's a a very very difficult hole, especially when you're playing with lower developed clubs and you're trying to get around there with curl and stuff. You, and there's different ways to play them. Depending on what ball you want to bring out and what clubs you have, you can play them in different ways. But this hole right here, it doesn't matter what clubs you have, you can successfully play this hole. You just have to use your clubs to their best. You got to get the most out of them. All right, I'm going to be two and a half rings off down here. Maximum, maximum. 3, 9, that's 4. And I'm going to add 20% onto that, so that's 4, 8. So there's 4, 8. I'm going to put on just a little bit of curl just to bring it back to the fairway. Hitting it great to the right, like one ring great. Lots of room, lots of room. Just roll it up there. Trying to open up that window right there and give us as much clearance from those trees, but as straight a shot as we can possibly get. That's the shot right there. That's the shot. Now, if I was my opponent, I would either try and hit to that spot over there or I would lay up right where I'm at. Lay up right in front of where you're at. They don't hit that within the green swath. They're not going to make it. <laughs> They'll make that. Okay, they got a shot from there. It, and it is super tough to get the ball to go in the hole here from distance. All right, I'm right where I want to be. Let me get out here so I can see where I'm at. a little bit of top spin. Hey, I want to come down towards the hole. Three, five. Need to hit the shot perfect. Just a little bit of rubbing against the nub curl. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a look at it right here. Just a bit on the inside. That little teeny bit of curl I put on, that rubbing against the nubs, that was the difference right there. It's hard to get the ball to come in on that trajectory and be on the inside of the hole. Typically you're right on the outside, on the left-hand side of the hole. And so there's a little bit when it comes down and it first starts hitting on the green, it takes a couple of bounces forward where any side spin you have on there, it doesn't engage as much as you think it should where it almost flattens out and goes to the left and so and the, so your tendency is to want to put curl on it but you have to let the side spin do its job and you can put that's about as much curl as you can put on it otherwise you're going to clip those trees so you want to be deep enough in that hole that you can get your side spin to work 
you can clip that rough up there too and, and it'll clip that rough and roll out of the green and it'll just dribble down all the way down to the cup. Now let's see if we can miss another putt from this distance. Not on this one. Excellent. Good game. And that's what the other thing I like about these Glen Monarch holes, or excuse me, these Greenwich Point holes is, is that these were holes that you could go out and beat your opponent. You could go out and stay in the fairway and you could beat your opponent. And there's a lot of these holes where it's just going to go to a shootout. But the Greenwich Point holes are great because you can go out there and just outplay them and win a lot on the course. All right, that was hole number 12 of the Great Outdoors Tournament. Thanks for watching.